Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna meal prep 10 pounds of 95.5 lean ground beef. This is how we do it. As you can see, 329 a pound, this is bull meat, straight up. <laughs> uh, I cut my finger. <laughs> Straight up bull meat, so 95.5 lean ground beef. This is what's up, 10 pounds. This is a week's worth of food for me. Well, of meat for $32.90. You can't beat that. Okay, so we season these and seal them. 10 one pound burgers. Salt, pepper, garlic. 10 one pound burgers. Cook sous vide, 132 degrees for three hours. Okay, so these are right out of the refrigerator. Uh, after sous videing these at uh, 132 degrees for about three hours, um, I let them cool. I refrigerate them, put these on a cookie sheet, and then uh, we have the uh, oven set to 555 degrees on broil. We're gonna go ahead and throw these in here for uh, four minutes on each side. Okay, so four and a half minutes on each side. You get it up with a nice sear here. Hopefully you can zoom in here, there we go. Nice sear here on, on the meat. And the inside still stays a nice medium rare. Um, I cook these at 132 for about three hours. You can go even longer, four hours. And these patties were not that thick. So I was able to sear for about uh, four and a half minutes each side last week because the patties were a little thicker, not quite as big around. But as you can see, the, uh, the color and everything in here looks great. Perfect medium rare burger. And they're pasteurized, so you don't have to worry about getting sick. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Uh, I had to switch hands. I don't know. I can't eat with my right hand and hold the phone with my left. But anyway, you have a nice uh, medium rare, medium, well, I would say it's medium rare, more than medium. Um, like I said, I cook it and then I chill everything. And that way, whenever I do the sear in the, in the broiler, I don't overcook the food. Mmm. It's been seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic prior to uh, sous vide. You can, um, Season it any way you want. You can top it with some mustard or sugar, sugar-free or no sugar added ketchup and have more of a traditional burger taste. But uh, this makes meal prepping super easy. I like to cook these in the evening time, primarily because I want my food fresh for dinner. And then when I'm at work, I can just nuke the one I cook, like the other one that you saw there. Will become my lunch tomorrow and I don't mind having to microwave it. And I cook it for maybe, I don't know, 45 seconds, just enough to take the chill off. I'm not trying to cook it any further. But anyway, that's been meal prep this week for me. Hopefully it helps you guys out. So basically I eat two of these a day and um, six eggs, whether that be hard boiled, well, usually soft boiled or scrambled or whatnot. So anyway, guys, take care. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, share, subscribe. I'll uh, see you next week. Well, actually, I'll probably see you later this week. Who knows when I'll see you because I got to edit this video so you can watch it. So <laughs> no idea when this is getting posted. But anyway, until next time, take care.